the three mindsets that are at the core of test-driven development are that we focus first on the design of the external experience of our code, what it does, not how it does it. Next, we take the smallest, simplest steps to make it work. And finally, we focus on the internal design of our solution to make it great. Red, green, refactor. We begin by designing our code purely from the perspective of a consumer of it. We do this by writing a test that expresses as clearly as we can something that we wish our code could do, focusing only on the visible outcome that we expect to observe from the outside. We get this little automated specification of the desirable behavior of our code to the point where we have a nice, clear, ideally simple statement of what it is that we expect to see and enough of it so that our test can run but not yet pass. In fact, our goal is to get it to fail, but in a useful way, demonstrating that our code doesn't yet do something that we'd really like it to. Now, with our test clearly showing us that our code, what our code needs to do, we make it do it. Surprisingly, this step is probably the least important one in many ways. In fact, at this point, we're at our most tactical, we're trying to make change in small, safe steps. And right now, we have a test that's failing. One of the common mistakes that I see newcomers to test-driven development make at this point is to spend too much time worrying about a perfect solution. It may seem weird, but this isn't really the goal of this step. This isn't really the time to worry about the design of our solution, even though we're at the point of making our test pass. Our aim at this point is to make it pass with the fewest changes, proceeding in those small safe steps. The last step in red-green refactor. And the last of the three mindsets, this is where we focus on the implementation. 